a big wedding is in the works, and then come some big changes. Now comes the question, who should pay up? It's time for Dear Snarky, offering 20 cents or 21st century advice with an attitude. Dear Snarky, Based on the uncertainty of COVID last year, my daughter had decided the smart move was to delay her wedding until April of 2022. The problem is, now that a lot of the COVID restrictions have been lifted, my daughter wants to get married in late June. Gulp. It's not just the rapid planning. We literally don't have the funds available to pull off a big wedding and my husband refuses to deplete our retirement account to do so. When we told our daughter this, she got hysterical. She doesn't want to wait a whole year to get married. I can understand this. So I told her that we could afford a very small wedding and this did not go over well. And now we haven't spoken to her in a couple of days. How do we resolve this issue? I love my daughter, but I feel like she's trying to hold my husband and I hostage to her demands. Signed, disappointed mama. Well, mama, are you sure your daughter is emotionally mature enough to get married? Because right now, she resembles a toddler throwing a temper tantrum, which to me is a sign that maybe you don't need to get married, but that's another letter for another day. Let's focus on this wedding thing. The solution, as I see it, is to tell your daughter if her and a fiance want to get married in two months, well, then they can pay for it. Yes, they can foot the bill if they really want to have that wedding that soon and you haven't budgeted for it. Bottom line is your daughter is being a brat. You gave her an alternative that sounded lovely, but it sounds like all she wants is big wedding, big, big wedding, ginormous wedding. And if that's the case, well, then she can foot the bill or she can wait a year and she can get her dream wedding. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, do not give in to her demands. You are going to hate yourself in a couple of years when you look at your retirement account and go, wow, I wish we hadn't depleted our retirement savings to pay for a big wedding. And yet I'm going to let you know that your daughter's still going to throw fits about other things. So paying for the wedding is not going to stop your daughter from being a brat. You're going to have to teach her and she's a grown woman. So I'm sorry to say this, but you're going to still have to teach her. You cannot treat your parents this way. And for the fact that she's ghosting you, well, I would enjoy the silence because I know for sure that another round of dramas going to be coming your way. Oh, wow. I agree with Snarky. Oh when my she gosh. gets that tone, she scares me. Well, you better enjoy the silence. We were like, just okay. talking about smaller kids being brats and, you know, tantrums. And she's talking about older adults. It just sounds like it never ends. Well, you know, the funny thing, Gina and Kelly, it's like, no matter what, I feel like wedding days during the pandemic, it brought about some sort of drama, right? And that's certainly what we saw here. But especially when so many people had financial hardship, it's like, just push it off till next year. It's only, you know, that's a difference of a few months. It's been yeah, super Don't be stressful. a bridezilla. <laughs> <laughs> bridezilla, yes, definitely there.